Driving with John is coming through! Again, this call, you said that, that you guys were recording the call. I'm just letting you know I am too, because I want proof that I call. In the effort of being totally transparent, in today's video, you, as you saw, I called and got to talk to somebody, and I told them it was being recorded. Now, so that you can see the whole story, first I'm gonna show you this short that I created talking about it, and then we'll get on to the phone call itself. Enjoy the video, everybody. Truckers, beware of this loves. I may never use loves again. Let me tell you what happened. So I went into a loves yesterday, to see if the package was delivered. Because as a truck driver, I have no other way to do anything other than have it mailed to truck stops. Never had an issue before. Went in there, asked if my package had been delivered yet, and the operations manager, Sarah, told me it's not their job to collect our mail. And that if something did come in, they're gonna have it sent back to, re to the sender because they're there to make money. They run a business, not to collect our mail. Really, guys? I thought you were in business to support truckers. I thought that's how you made your money. Well, guess what? You just lost somebody that likes to use your stores because of that stupid policy, if it's even a policy. And I will be telling corporate about this. Let me know your thoughts. Am I just entitled? Put it in the comment section. All right, guys. So if you saw my short, you know I was having some troubles with loves. I played it at the beginning of this video and now I'm about ready to call their corporate find out what they got to say about this. So, listen in. Thank you for calling Love's corporate office. Please listen to the following menu as the options have changed. If you know your party's extension, you can dial it at any time. If you are an employee, please press one. If you are a vendor, please press two. For a list of departments, please press three. For customer service, please press four. If you know your party's name, please press 5. To reach the operator, please press 0. Wait while I transfer your call. Thank you for calling Love's Travel Stops, the home of clean places and friendly faces. Para Español, o Prima Uno. If you are a professional driver with an 18-wheeler and need emergency roadside assistance, press 1. That's on me. If you need assistance with your My Love Rewards card or our My Love Rewards program, press 2. That's to reach Love's customer service, press 3. Let's press For 3. For a question with a Love Express billing card. How can I help you today? Hello, can I talk to a, a person? I understand you want to speak to an agent, but continuing with the process will ensure the fastest assistance. Using a complete sentence, how can I help you today? I have an issue with one of your truck stops in Ohio. To clarify, are you calling about feedback or complaints or oil changes for your vehicle? Feedback or complaints. We gather feedback on our stores and services through our website. Can I text you a link to a form to complete the feedback process? No. We value your opinions. To avoid long wait times and ensure the right person gets to your input, please visit loves.com slash contact us or the Loves Connect mobile app and complete your feedback there. Thank you for calling Loves. Goodbye. As you saw, my first attempt is bad. Let's try another attempt. Let's do this. Because I'm talking to somebody today. Thank you for calling Love's corporate office. Please listen to the following menu as the options have changed. If you know your party's extension, you can dial it at any time. If you are an employee, please press 1. If you are a vendor, please press 2. For a list of departments, wait while I transfer your call. All of our representatives are assisting other callers at this. Thank you for calling us corporate. How may I address your call? Uh, yes, I need to talk to a customer service agent. I have something I need to find out about one of your locations. 
that um, didn't go very well the other day. Sure, one moment, I'll turn for you now. Thank you for calling Love's Travel Stops, the home of clean places and friendly faces. Para Español, o Prima Uno. If you are a professional driver with an 18-wheeler and need emergency really? roadside assistance, press 1. If you need assistance with your My Love Rewards card or our My Love Rewards program, press 2. To reach Love's customer service, press 3. For a question with a Love's Express billing card, press 4. For questions about Love's RV stops, press 5. If you are a Love's employee, press 6. To repeat this menu, press the pound key. If you are a professional driver... How can I help you today? Talk to a customer service representative, please. I understand you want to speak to an agent, but continuing with the process will ensure the fastest assistance. Using a complete sentence, how can I help you today? Talk to a person, please. I can register a new Love's Rewards card, add a receipt, provide your card balance, help with Love's Express and Love's Pay, collect feedback, provide a copy of a receipt, or help with account points and profile issues. Using a complete sentence, how can I help you today? Talk to a customer service representative, please. Got it. So I can connect you to the right agent. Please describe what you need help with in a few words. Using a complete sentence, how can I help you today? I need to talk to a person. Please hold while I transfer your call to an agent. For its purposes, this call may be monitored or recorded. At Love's, we value your opinion. Please stay on the line once your call is completed to take a brief survey. Thank you for calling Love's customer service. This is Jennifer. I'm sorry, what was your name? Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Um, my name is John. Um, I had a pretty bad experience over the weekend, and I felt like it was something that I needed to clarify you guys' policies, uh, because as a professional truck driver, um, I've had things mailed to Love's locations. I called in advance to make sure it was okay. And then I get there and the package is delivered. Everything's fine. Well, did that policy change by chance? I do apologize. Um, I would need a little more clarification, like on what you mean when you say the policy, did it change? We don't necessarily have one for being like stuff being mailed to us. Okay, well, as a professional truck driver, um, when I'm out on the road, I'm out for, you know, months at a time. So a lot of times if my wife wants to send me something or, you know, for some other reason, somebody wants to send me something that's not Amazon because I use the Amazon lockers for that, obviously. Um, I'll call ahead and have it delivered to a truck stop, a Loves or a TA or whatever I'm going to. And, you know, then when I get there, I'll walk in after if my package has arrived and they'll usually give it to me well this time i went to the one in perrysville ohio and um the operations manager sarah there um was flat out rude I, I don't know how else to say it um she told me that that you guys are in business to make money and not to be our mail delivering people and that um she was just flat out rude and obnoxious and so I didn't say much back other than I can go to different truck stops, but I really like going to Love's. You guys have the cleanest bathrooms and great service normally, but this lady was flat out rude to me. And I'm just wondering, is it a policy issue? Because if you guys don't allow that anymore, that's good to know. I do apologize for the experience. I do not know why she would have acted like that. Um, it is up to the store's location on the on their choices and discretion whenever it comes to stuff like that. Um, we do let the store control if they accept packages, how they hold them. Okay. 
because we're not reliable for them. Right, right. No, um, I understand. But I... her behavior was out of line. Okay. Um, okay, well, I understand that. Uh, I just At the beginning of this call, you said that, that you guys were recording the call. I'm just letting you know I am, too, because I want proof that I called because I didn't think people were going to believe me that I did. Um, but uh, I just, like I said, Loves has always treated me really well. And I call ahead. And when I called ahead this time, I don't even know who I talked to, to be honest with you. A, a gentleman answered and I said, I'm going to have a package delivered. Should be there this weekend. Do you have a problem with that? You know, I'll be in on this day. He said, yeah, no problem. That's all that was said. And that's normally how the conversations go. But then... When I got there, I got Sarah, and Sarah was not very nice. And um, like I, I did my best. I didn't, I didn't mouth back to her or say anything disrespectful. Like the way her attitude came across was totally disrespectful and totally rude. And you know, I just it bothered me because Loves is always in my mind always been the ones that supports truckers, the ones that you know you guys go out of your way to. I understand that it's a business and you're trying to make money, but I also understand that you do that by giving us great service, right? Well, I don't think Sarah, I don't think Sarah sees it that way. <laughs> so, um, are you, is there some kind of like, um, I tried to get a hold of her boss, but it was a weekend and she said her boss wasn't in. And so I just walked out at that point and figured I'd just call instead because I'm not always going to be in that area. You know what I mean? Is, is there some way that to get a message across that maybe she shouldn't treat customers that way? So I am going to send this to her supervisor. Sorry, I, I am listening to you. I don't want you to think I'm not. I was just trying to jot all of that down because I am going to send this over as a complaint to, and you said she was the operations manager? Yeah, her name's Sarah, Simmons, I think, Simmons, Simmons, something like that. And she is the operations manager. She, she said she's the operations manager and the store manager was not in and he's the only one above her. That's the, what she said to me. I don't know if that's true or not, but it. I just thought a manager of all people should not treat people that way. <laughs> no, yes, sir. No, I completely understand. That's why I was trying to clarify. I want to make sure I got the right person. Um, and we said Perry's in Ohio. I'm just trying to draw this down so I can get this all sent over as a complaint and let my supervisor know as well. Okay. Um. Yeah, I just... I, honestly, I'm not looking to get anybody fired or anything. I just... <laughs> On a, if she had just said, we don't offer that service anymore in a nice, polite voice, I'd have been fine with that. You know, or when I called, if they'd have said, I'm sorry, we don't do that anymore, I wouldn't have been happy about it, but I wouldn't have been upset about it. Like, I'm one of those people I've never complained, but this, she was just extremely disrespectful and extremely rude. So bad that when I was walking out of the store, she was still like, not shouting, but a very high tone of voice still talking to me basically saying that it's a business and you know it's not their job to cater to me or whatever something like that and i as i was walking out the door it just it, it all right now that you've watched that i really got to call some people out here there are some truck drivers out there that just don't understand how to support a brother of the highway you know what i mean like i'm not saying that we all have to get behind each other's movements because some of us are kind of wacko and I might be one of those, I don't know. But I'm just gonna play you a couple of, I'm gonna show you a couple of comments, like this one. Or this one. Or this one. Or this one. Guys, really? Am I just being ridiculous here? Make sure you put it in the comment section. Do you think I sound like an entitled Karen? Or that, uh, you know, I'm obviously a millennial? <laughs> I don't know. These are the comments I get, guys. So, I don't know what to do with it. But I called. They were very professional, very nice, as you heard. Took care of the problem. Filed a formal complaint. I probably will never stop back at that location in Perrysville, Ohio, but I'm not out of Love's circuit altogether because honestly, I like Love's. They're the cleanest showers. They're, you know, well, the company I work for now, their fuel prices are pretty good for that company. And, you know, I like parking there. Honestly, it's a cleaner, better truck stop than most. Um, 
but I will never stop at the one over in Perrysville, Ohio ever again. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. And always remember, truckers are people too. Sarah doesn't know that, but they are. Now be nice to us. See you on the next video, everybody.